Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Asus Q405UA. And let's just go ahead and talk about some of the specs. Intel i5-825U, a one terabyte SATA, and it is Windows 10 64-bit. The exact model I have is an eight gigabyte. The RAM is not upgradable. So if you are looking for a better RAM, you should not get this laptop. I've never had an Asus before, so this was an eye-opening experience. I've only used HP and Dell in my previous two laptops. Let's just hop right into it and let's get this started. Now I'm just gonna hop right into it. Uh, starting off, as you can see, it is a pretty tiny laptop coming in at 14 inches. It's uh, pretty thin. We're going to go ahead and flip it on over to its side. Right side view, we have our headphone jack our USB-C, which I have never used once in my life, your average USB 3.0 and your HDMI, the DCI-N for your charger port. Now on the back, we have two fans right here. Very innovative, I like that. The little rubber feet to stop it whenever you actually lift it up. The left side, two USB points, USB 3.0, and we have the SD card, the volume rocker and the lock button, which I absolutely hate about this laptop. If you're trying to plug something in, you have to make sure not to press the volume or the power. So if I had a USB trying to plug it in, I would have to grab from either the bottom left, the top right, or just hold down the whole laptop so I can plug something in. The computer, as you can see, the keyboard does feel a little bit weird, and the screen is absolutely beautiful. The screen isn't all the way down, it stops uh, right about here, so almost like a thumbs link. Oh wow, it was actually, it was actually turned off. Okay, that, that works. Just wait for it to start up. Now you get, to get to get to see the whole video. You get to see it from start to end. Perfect. Just let it do its thing. It's also a fingerprint scanner right here. I like that built in. And there's a Beluga well, perfect. There is no disk drives. You either have to buy a USB to port over the .exe. Let's get it from a side view. Then pretty much everything else you already, you already know. One comes in at a one terabyte SATA hard drive. If you don't like SATA, you can always upgrade to an SSD. They're online. Not sure the price off the top of my head. This computer has an eight gigabyte max. So if you're looking to upgrade your RAM, you should not get this computer unless eight gigabytes is exactly what you're looking for. This is indeed a two-in-one. There is a lot of Asus stuff on here. I'm not gonna get into it, but there is such thing as the Asus battery care, which actually stops your laptop at 60%, which you can see right here, it's not fully charged. And it does that just to stop the battery from swelling so you can increase the longevity of your life. This computer is great for multitasking. I personally play RuneScape, I edit movies and I edit music while I'm also surfing the web. This little computer can handle all of that. So that is amazing. And this computer is going to run from $649.99 and I believe after taxes and everything is going to come to at least $701. I think it is a dual fan. Not too positive, but it is rather quiet. It is so much quieter than the laptop that I had previously before this. It was driving me mad. I'm going to have to put this in 2 in one mode because I don't know where my mouse is. Now, 2-in-1, I personally don't like that much on this laptop, but every laptop is going to be the same because you're going to have the chiclet keyboard that you're going to fill in the back of your hand. Unless you put it in a tablet form, which you could either hold it like this as a tablet and just, you know, search through the web. You can always go through here, search through the web. I was actually looking up Shotcut. I think you can also put it sideways, set it up on its side. Um, it just turned off because I pressed the power button. Okay, lesson learned. Obviously, there's a lot of kinks. I still need to work out with it, and that was a, that was a designer flaw. I'm gonna get through that. I just wanted to make a quick review of what I thought about it, just to give you the pluses and minuses. I will get to a more depth interview once I understand it more myself, but this is just a simple video of what I think about the Asus Q405 UA. If you want me to keep continuing and keep 
reviewing this, please let me know. Other than that, thank you so much. Thank you for watching my video and have a good day.